Hi everybody, Emily here for Pink Fresh Studio. I am guest designing this month and I am using this absolutely stunning, stunning collection, brand new Happy Blooms from Pink Fresh Studio. And it's my second layout using this collection. I love the colors, I love everything about it. Quick disclaimer, <laughs> this layout, um, I started it with a completely different background. So those little um, square for matting my photographs were already cut out and stitched around the edges. But we're going from, from here, uh, from the moment where I decided to change the background. I went for something really busy and something that perhaps wouldn't be used um, as much with uh, for a background on the layout but actually works quite nicely on the end. I think it's because there's quite a lot of white with it and uh, the designs are very very small and uh, dainty and super cute so yeah it, it works especially with uh, big bright um, paper being mounted on and all those uh, big flowers the main work with this layout really was to choose all the ephemeras to cluster around the my photo and um, mounting them using double-sided sticky foam pad and uh, playing with the position uh, of everything but I'll let you watch and you'll see it really is um, a quick layout to create it's just a matter of uh, placement and having fun. So the two big words I've decided to use for my title, um, it, I think it came meaning to be home life, but I wanted to change it up a little bit and make it my own. So I went with life at home with you and I completed the title with the little puffy alpha as well as the large uh, puffy alphas that come with the Happy Bloom collection and it works perfectly i love the mixture of uh, fonts and uh, the mixture of uh, writing i think that cursive with uh, something more straight always look really really good it adds a bit of interest and it adds a little bit of peps to your layout and it's something that i really enjoy seeing on on my layout and, and using it just add a little extra something to any pages.
Now that I'm happy with all the placement of my ephemeras, I've cleaned my desk and I go to tear the top and the bottom of my layout. Now that can be something that is quite nerve wracking, especially when you've got a layout that you like, but I felt it was missing some extra detail and a, a bit more color. So I went and tear the bottom and the top and I curled the edges around my paintbrush. It's a technique I use a lot because I adore the effect and I think it brings a lot of volume and texture to a page and it changed completely the finished look of the page for very very little effort. I cut out some strips of pink paper that are mounting behind those torn edges and that will be it, that's all you need to create your layout. Just a few epoxy dots in yellow for added splashes of colour and here we are, we have a finished layout. I absolutely loved playing with this collection, I am in love with the Pinkfresh Studio product. I hope you check it out. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed this layout, don't hesitate to leave a comment. If you have any question, please just uh, shout up and I'll be more than happy to answer. And thank you so much for watching and for your time. Goodbye.